In this morning's Ask the Vets, we learn much more about Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Hi, I'm Dr. Donica Salamoon, and I'm here with Angel, and I was going to tell you a little bit about King Charles Cavalier Spaniels today. So, as you might recognize, they're similar to other Spaniels in that they have these big floppy ears, but what makes them distinct um, would be the smaller um, snout, the short snout that they've got, that small face, and they've got these beautiful big almond eyes, too. Um, they're also quite a bit smaller than the others in the Cocker Spaniel. Um, Generally, they range in size from about 12 pounds to 20 pounds. This spaniel has been around uh, for hundreds of years. Uh, it was around before King Charles, but King Charles II made it most famous. Uh, he really loved these dogs, and so he was always seen with six or seven of them following him around. He reigned in the 1600s, so you'll see lots of, of these old paintings that have um, all these King Charles Spaniels in them, and he actually uh, created a law um, by which all King Charles Cavaliers were allowed in every public place just so that he could bring his Spaniels with him. So they have continued to um, be very popular all these years. Um, they made it to this country in the 1940s, and they have been around ever since. They are really known for their sweet disposition, so they're great with kids, um, with, with senior citizens. Um, I really don't think I've ever seen an aggressive one. So, I, you know, I love having these guys come in. In terms of the health issues, probably their biggest thing um, would be mitral valve disease. So they get heart murmurs. Some of them can be born with those. So you do want to make sure that if you're going to look uh, to adopt one of these, that you get a reliable breeder who would make sure that you're not getting a dog already with heart disease. So Angel is now 12 years old. She lives in Saratoga. And, um, and one of the... Um, special things about her is that she is a cancer survivor, so she actually had um, her hind leg amputated a couple of years ago. Um, and you'll see here that she's just got this one hind leg now that's hanging out. And she does really well. She gets around very well, but so that was amputated because of cancer. Um, and that was three years ago, so she's been doing well ever since. If you have a question that you'd like to ask the vets, just email it to askthevets at cbs6albany.com.